Right, let's go ahead and get started with today's Tardy by Strength class. So good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday morning. The sun is coming up. It's going to be a great day. Um, and no other way than to start off with a wonderful total body strength workout. So all you're gonna need today is a set of dumbbells. And again, as always, if you have water, definitely have that on hand. It's always good to be hydrating through these classes. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and get started explaining what we're gonna be doing today. So we are gonna be using solely dumbbells for this. And <clears throat> we're gonna be working through this circuit three times. And we're gonna start off with 40 seconds of the first exercise and 20 seconds of the second exercise. So we're gonna go through that. There's six different circuits we're gonna do each one three times. So we're gonna start off here with our dumbbells. And we're gonna do some alternating overhead presses. So this is a little bit different than what we've been doing the last few weeks. So we're gonna have our weights just at our shoulders here and we're gonna alternate. So one arm at a time overhead, back down, other arm and back down. We wanna make sure our elbows are staying nice and even here. We don't wanna drop down. We want them to be nice and tall. And we're just holding as we alternate here. Core nice and tight, back flat. We're not arching our back here. So we're gonna do that for 40 seconds and then we're gonna go ahead and do some hammer curls. So with these hammer curls, they're just like bicep curls, but instead of our palms being forward, our palms are facing each other. So hands at the sides, palms facing each other as we come up and back down from side here hands are facing each other the whole time. So that's gonna be our first circuit. And then we're gonna go ahead and go into some squats. So the first one we're gonna do are sumo squats. We're gonna stand a little bit wider than we normally would. We can hold that weight in between our legs here and we're gonna push those knees out, squeeze the glutes and stand back up. So we're gonna really be feeling these in our glutes. And it's really important here that we're still keeping our back nice and flat as we squeeze and come up. And then we're gonna move into a narrow squat. So we can keep those dumbbells on the outside. Our feet are gonna be a little bit narrower than shoulder width. And again, same thing, squatting down, squeezing, standing back up. We are gonna feel these ones more in the quads than the glutes because our feet are closer together. So we're getting a lot of different um, focuses here today with those squats. And then next we're gonna do some overhead tricep extensions. So we're gonna have these dumbbells. You can either use two dumbbells or one, whatever is comfortable and um, available to you today. We're gonna to have those hands overhead. And I'll show from this angle, we're gonna bend at the elbows, bring those weights down and extend through the tricep. So down, extend from the front down and extend. We should be feeling that all through the backs of our arms there. We're gonna do some tricep extensions and then we're gonna do around the world raises. So palms forward, squeezing these shoulders, lifting all the way up and around and back down. Try not to hit those weights like I just did up at the top. We wanna to control them all the way down. If that's an issue, getting the weight above your shoulder, just go ahead and do some lateral raises. So going straight to the side and back down. So that's that option there. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some bent over rows. So our feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. We're pushing those hips back, back is flat, core tight. We're squeezing through the armpits, bringing those dumbbells towards our butt and we're using our back there. And then we're gonna do some bent over T's. So same positioning here. So bending at the hips, pushing those glutes back, arms are straight out in front and then we're gonna come straight out to the side and back. So from this angle, we're here, straight out to the side and back. So it's gonna work our rear delts there and that's gonna really be good for our posture. And then finally, not finally, we have two more to go after this. So then we're gonna get on the ground. We're gonna do some glute bridges here. So feet are gonna be about shoulder width apart, squeezing the glutes and back down. We're also gonna be holding our dumbbells straight above our head here, giving us a little bit more core activation. So we're squeezing the glutes, keeping our core tight back flat. And then for the next part, so we're doing that first and then we're gonna flip it and we're gonna hold that glute bridge and then we're gonna move our arms up and down. So we're gonna be doing some floor presses with a glute bridge. So we're squeezing through the chest and coming back down here while we hold our hips up, squeezing those glutes. And finally, we're gonna be doing some core work on the ground. So we're gonna be doing some dead bugs here with a core assist. So just like with those glute bridges, we're having our hands above us the whole time to really activate that core. Opposite arm, or sorry, opposite, not even opposite, just one leg at a time, extending and coming back down. And then the last thing we're gonna do is some single leg lowering. So if you would like to hold those dumbbells up with four courses here, more than welcome, or you can just kind of hold them at your sides, set them on the ground, whatever's most comfortable. But for single leg lowering, our feet are, our legs are straight, our feet are flexed, so our 
on the bottom of our foot is facing the ceiling. And we're going to slowly lower one leg to the ground. Exhale, bring that leg back up and then alternate here. Exhaling as we bring that leg up is really gonna help us activate that core, which is what we want out of that exercise. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. So we can go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're gonna go ahead and do some world's greatest stretch first is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take our right leg, scoop that knee up towards our chest, make sure we balance and exhale. Oh my goodness, balance. Exhale into a reverse lunge. Hands on the inside of that front foot. And we're gonna bring the same arm of the leg that's in the front. So my left leg's in front, left leg, or left arm up towards the ceiling, gazing past that thumb. Big deep belly breaths. Exhale and place that hand on the outside of our front foot, pushing ourselves up into a hamstring stretch. And we're exhaling, bringing the right foot next to the left foot, standing on up. Perfect. So we're gonna do that with the other side now. We're gonna scoop that knee up, bring it towards the chest. And exhaling into a reverse lunge, hands on the inside of our front foot. And we're gonna plant that left hand, open up with the right hand since our right leg is in front, gazing past our thumb. Feeling that stretch, opening up the hips. Exhaling, placing my hand on the outside of the front foot into a hamstring stretch. And exhaling, bring the left foot next to the right foot and standing on up. Great job. All right, next, next thing we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna do some planks to pike, get those shoulders warmed up. So moving onto the ground into a plank position on our hands. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold here for a second. So we're getting our core warmed up, our shoulders warmed up, and then we're gonna exhale, push ourselves up into that pike or down dog position, hips in the air, feeling that stretch through the shoulders and back down to plank. Two more times, pushing ourselves up, feeling that stretch, getting those shoulders warmed up back to a plank. And last one, exhaling, pushing ourselves up and back down into a plank. Wonderful. All right, we are nice and warmed up, ready to go. So we're gonna get that timer going here. And we have 40 seconds of the first movement, 20 seconds of the second. We're going through in order and then we'll start at the top again. We've got three, time, three rounds to go, starting with alternating overhead presses, three, two, one and go. So dumbbells at our shoulders, exhaling, alternating here. Great job. Going nice, slow and controlled through the movement, keeping our core tight so our back is flat. If our back is starting to arch as we lift the weight up, a weight is a little too heavy for us. So we should drop that down a little bit, but we want our elbows to be even here with the ground. So we got 90 degrees through our shoulders here, but our weights are kind of above our shoulders a little bit. Three, two, one, and hammer curls. So palms facing each other, squeezing through the biceps. We're not rocking back and forth. We're just using our biceps here to lift the weight up towards our shoulders. And we're gonna go into those sumo squats in three, two, one. So taking the legs nice and wide, knees pushing out over our toes, squeezing through the glutes. So we're gonna do these sumo squats first, keeping our core tight. And then we're gonna go into those narrow squats. So using our glutes here, primarily pushing those knees out, toes are out, really getting into a nice wide stance here. Really focusing on our core activation as well. We got narrow squats coming up here soon. Three, two, one. So we're bringing our feet together. So a little bit closer than shoulder width. And we're bending, squatting down, squeeze the glutes, standing back up. And then next we're doing that overhead tricep extension. So we're gonna have our dumbbells above our head and then around the world raises. So triceps in three, two, one. Above head, we're bending at the elbows, straightening on up. So again, you can either use two dumbbells or one dumbbell, whatever is most comfortable and doable for you today. We are doing these for 40 seconds. So if you start out with two, 
and you need to drop down to one by round three, totally okay. So I will always recommend we have multiple options for dumbbells. All right, great job. We got around the roll raises coming up here soon. And then we're gonna be doing our bent over rows. Three, two, one. So hands at our sides, palms forward, squeezing through the shoulders, lifting all the way up and around and back down. Just like with bicep curls, presses, any really movement we do, we wanna make sure we're not using momentum. We are just using our shoulders. Oh, and I was paying attention to bent over rows. So we're bending at the hips, pushing our hips back, squeezing through the armpits. We wanna make sure that our hips are back far enough and our back is flat. We don't wanna be, our hips are, if our hips are forward, we're gonna feel that in our low back. So pushing those hips back is really important here. Really making sure we're not moving the weight like this. We're really controlling it with our back muscles here. If we're starting to use momentum, you need to drop that weight down a little bit. Great job, y'all. We got our bent over T's coming up in three, two, one. So same position, arms are just coming straight out to the side. We're only doing this for 20 seconds and then we're getting on the ground for those glute bridges. Again, same thing, slow and controlled, keeping our back flat, using the backs of our shoulders. Three, two, one, we're on the ground. Glute bridge with that core assist. So our arms are straight in the air here with the, with the weights, squeezing the glutes until we're parallel with our shoulders, hips, and knees. The weights above our head are really gonna help us keep our core engaged just a little bit more. Great job, everyone. We're gonna get ready here for those presses. So we're gonna be holding the glute bridge. Three, two, one. We're holding the bridge and now we're moving our arms. So we're bringing those elbows down to our sides, pushing through the chest. Elbows are as close for our bodies as we can get them. We got our dead bugs coming up here in three, two, one. So knees in the air, 90 degrees. Hands straight in the air with those dumbbells. Exhaling as we bring our knees back to center. Great job, y'all. Exhaling as we bring our knees back. We got a pretend apple on our stomach. We're crushing that apple. Great job, everyone. Single leg lowering is going to be next. And we're going to be doing that here in three, two, one. So you can either have your arms in the air still, or you can put those elbows on the ground, but we're lowering one leg towards the ground. Exhaling, crushing that apple. We're starting to feel it in our hips. It means we're not doing it right. All right, we're standing back up. Three, two, one. Shoulder press is alternating here. So we're standing on up. That's a quick, quick transition, but we're alternating here. Exhaling as we bring that dumbbell above our heads. Great job, everyone. If you need to take a second and get a sip of water, definitely don't forget to hydrate here. Super important. We are gonna be doing hammer curls here coming up next in a few minutes. Anyway, miss any seconds, three, two, one. Palms facing in, squeezing through the biceps, exhaling as we come to that center position. We got sumo squats and narrow squats next. Three, two, one. Nice and wide here. Dumbbells in the center. Pushing those knees back, really squeezing through the glutes. The glutes are the driver of this movement here. We're focusing on the glutes. Squeeze all the way 
down to the bottom and up. We're squeezing. Awesome. Don't forget to breathe, keeping that core tight. We focus on our intention here. Think about the muscle we're squeezing. We got narrow squats in three, two, one. Bring those feet together. After that, after this, we're doing those overhead tricep extensions. And then we're gonna be doing our around the world right Squeezing through the quads here. Three, two, one. Overhead tricep extension. So again, if now is the time where we're starting to get tired, you can always drop that down to one dumbbell instead of two. Great job, everyone. Really extend through the backs of the arms are really forceful here, like you're punching towards the ceiling. Those triceps need some explosive movement. That's why we got them for explosion. So we're breaking the glass above our heads. We got around the world raises here in three, two, one, palms forward, squeeze the shoulders all the way up and around. So after we finish these, we got the bent over rows and then we got the bent over tees. So we're getting lots of upper body here today. Getting lots of three, two, one. So all the, the both of the bent over rows here and our bent over tees are great to work on our back, which are gonna be really helpful for posture. Cause sometimes if our back is a little bit weaker, our chest becomes overactive. So we need to strengthen our back here, really making sure we're doing some counter movements to how we're positioned through the day. So these both are really good to help with posture. Really important to keep that core tight. Use the glutes here, exhaling as we bring our dumbbells towards our glutes. Three, two, one, bent over T's. So same position coming straight out to the side, pinkies towards the ceiling, squeezing through the backs of the shoulders. After this, we're on the ground for glute bridges. Awesome, keep pushing. Three, two, one, we're on the ground, hands in the air with those dumbbells, activating our core as we squeeze the glutes. And we want pair one straight line from the knees to the hips to the shoulders. So everything nice and straight here. Exhaling as we squeeze the glutes. And then we're gonna do those floor presses right after. And then we got dead bugs and single leg lowering. And then we're gonna go through one more time. Three, two, one, we're holding and we're using our arms now. So we're bringing our elbows down about a 45 degree angle here. So we don't want our elbows straight out. We want them close to our body. It's gonna protect our shoulder. Really important there. All right, dead bugs in three, two, one. Knees up, core assist here. Arms are straight up with those dumbbells, pushing our belly button into the ground, exhaling. As we come back, crushing that apple with our core, also imagining our belly button is pressed into the ground. We don't want that low back coming up. I'm gonna use that core. Awesome, keep exhaling, keep pulling those knees in. We got single leg lowering here coming up. Three, two, one, legs in the air, feet are flexed. Same deal, exhaling, bringing your legs up. We got one more round, so alternating overhead presses and hammer curls are gonna be next. Three, two, one, we're standing up, alternating overhead presses. Last round of this, using those shoulders, one arm at a time. Great job, everyone.
guys are doing awesome. Really doing a good job with those shoulders. I know my favorite movement, I love working shoulders. So I know we do that a lot. So if you have anything you want me to focus on in the future, let me know. I'll definitely add it in. All right, hammer curls in three, two, one. Awesome, we're squeezing through the biceps, palms facing each other. We're not swinging back and forth. Our core is tight, our back is flat. We got one flat line here. All right, next we got those sumo squats, three, two, one. All right, so we're nice and wide here. Dumbbells in between our legs, squeezing the glutes. And then we got narrow squats after this. And then we got our overhead tricep extensions. Awesome, everyone. Keep squeezing through the glutes. Lots of glutes work today. Narrow squats in three, two, one. Bring those feet a little bit closer than hip width here. Overhead triceps and then around the world are next. Three, two, one, arms above head, being explosive with those triceps. Feel those in the backs of our arms here. Those are awesome. Keep pushing, really punching our hands up to the ceiling. Got around the world raises next. And then we got our rows and T's. And now we're getting on the ground. Three, two, one. All right, last thing around the world raises. Great job, everyone. Almost done here. And then we got those bent over rows. Three, two, one, feet shoulder width apart, hips far back as we can get them. Bringing our hands towards our butt here. Making sure we're squeezing through the armpits. If you don't know what that means, just pretend like you got a piece of paper here that you're holding. And you don't want to let it go. What, where do you feel the muscles working? That's where we want to squeeze through here. So we're squeezing. Through our back, squeezing our shoulder blades here. We got bent over T's coming up here, and then we're on the ground for our glute bridges, and then our floor presses. Three, two, one, bent over T's. Squeezing through the backs of our shoulders, our pinkies are pointed up. So if you can see my hands are like this, and we're going straight out to the side. So we're bent over here, straight out to the side, pinkies up. Getting on the ground in three, two, one. We're doing our glute bridges. So our hands are straight up towards the ceiling. We're squeezing the glutes, getting everything nice in one straight line. Just pushing those heels into the ground, making sure our pelvis is tucked. Our core should be extra activated with our hands above our head. We got floor presses coming up next here. Three, two, one. Hold at the top, bring those elbows down, push them back up. Exhaling as we come up to center, keeping those elbows tight. We got dead bugs, three, two, one. So we're holding those arms in the air, knees and ankles, 90 degree angles from each other. Belly button, push into the ground. Exhaling, we come to center, making sure our belly button press into the ground. Great job, you guys, keep pushing. 
using that core. We got single leg lowering coming up and then we're gonna be done. We're gonna do a nice cool down. And we'll be ready to get on with the rest of our day. Starting off strong with a nice workout here. All right, single leg lowering, three, two, one. Legs in the air, feet are flexed, lowering as far close to the ground as we can. Exhaling, keeping our core engaged. We shouldn't be able to place anything under our low back. So our belly button is pressed into the ground. We got that apple sitting right here. We're crushing it. Three, two, one. And that will be all we have for today's circuit. Awesome job, everyone, today. We can go ahead and get into a quick cool down and then we'll be on our way. So first thing we're gonna do, go ahead and grab a sip of water if you need it. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into our hands and our knees. We're gonna do some quadruped rocking here. So we're on our hands and our knees. My right leg is gonna be straight out to the side like a kickstand. I'm gonna rock back glutes to heels and that same arm of the leg that's out to the side. I'm gonna reach through in between our left arm and our left leg and then place it back on the ground and come back up. So we do that a few times, we're rocking, we're reaching, we're getting some nice rotation through the spine. We're getting a nice adductor stretch, hip opening stretch here. And one more here, reaching as far as we can. And then we're gonna move over to the other side. So same thing, left leg, straight to the side, leg kicks in, heel, big toe, little toe on the ground. There's my foot. We're rocking back and then same arm, reaching through. And then we're squeezing the glutes and coming back up. Wanna make sure our core is tight. That pinky toe of the leg that's out to the side has to be on the ground. So we get the most out of that stretch here. And last one. Wonderful, awesome job, everyone. And that is gonna be all we have time for. So thank you all for coming to Thursday's Total Body Strength. I love starting my day with a nice workout with y'all. So don't forget today, we do have two stretch breaks, one at 11 and one at 2.30, as well as exercise with Exos at 12 with me. We're gonna be doing a fun workout here. And then we also do have um, Brittany's abs core and mobility class at 4.30 tonight. It's gonna be our last set of classes for the day and for the week since there are no classes tomorrow because we have a holiday. So let us know if you have any questions about anything. We're always here and happy to help and I hope everyone has a great rest of their day.